Rock City Network's coming to you from the Edinburgh Castle Hotel. Joining me, the lovely Jackie Marshall. It's been a while, mate. A little while, a little while. I remember we were in tropical Queensland last time. We were at the Powerhouse. Indeed. And uh, I guess, was the album released then or just being released? No. Or just no being finished? It was just me. being finished. Yes. And I was just about to head off to Japan. Yes. And now I'm back, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're in Japan. Woo! Could yeah. be. Yeah. Sounds kind of funky in here. Oh, yeah, no. And, um, Album came out about a month ago, yeah. so yeah, on the road. Well, it's uh, it's too early days to be asking what the album's going to do, I guess. Yeah. Um, but uh, take us through what happened in Japan. <laughs> let's start. Let's start from where we last caught up and move our way forward. Well, it was definitely a rock and roll holiday. <laughs> a holiday from rock and roll. Um, I was on a paddle steamer. I did 225 shows of country music. <laughs> but um, I ended up actually pretty much making up all the material by the yeah by the end of it. So, um, and I was alone, and it was the dead of winter, and it was pretty much my own private David Lynch film. <laughs> it was yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Paddle steamer. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Mark Twain theme with girls in fluorescent skirts doing cartwheels and. You know, completely but just Japanese. cold winter by itself kind of reminds me of like Amityville horror on the water. Yeah. Like that weird old boat vibe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It was. It was kind of like it was just very sad and not really, not really self-esteem building. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. But I was like, you know, it was just kind of wow, Japan's heyday really was the 80s. You know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just going public. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is just for the private art. Woo! You don't have to worry about that. Now, um, so you've come back. Uh, the album has just been released, as you said. This is it here. Ladies Lock. That's it. Ladies now, uh, Lock. now um, you've been having a bit of luck on the tour, actually. Uh, some of the shows you've said that, that you've played out have been uh, huge in response, especially s Sydney recently. Yeah, we had, a, we had a great show in Sydney. Um, um, all the sort of... Yeah, we had a, like a really great kind of crowd and very hyperactive kind of band environment, you know, mm. which is great. Got to run around screaming, very appreciative audience and um, and uh, quite a quite an interesting review. Uh, it's always nice to be cold and sane in a review. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I treasure those moments because you're giving me a license. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, as long as you're being talked about, it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. As, as, as long as the name is on lips. I don't mind that. It's yeah. all cool. Like, you know, I mean, because I guess if you're going to, like, channel people, <laughs> if you're going to channel dead people who do are it, famous do, do it, on stage, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you really, you know, some people are going to find it a bit challenging. You know? <laughs> yeah. Now, one thing that I'm, has interested me just uh, watching how you're uh, conducting yourself before shows and how uh, you, you're mixing with the, the band and how you're performing on stage, there's no real second album jitters like a lot of artists have because this is the second album, obviously, yeah. and the first one had a lot of uh, very positive acclaim and, and uh, very well accepted around the country. Uh, what has made the transition so easy for the second album? Because it is so hard for many artists out there. Well, you know, it took longer than a lot of people take to do the second album. You know, like as with the first one, you know, um, it's it's four years since the last album came out, yeah. and I just made sure I was ready to, you know, kick it out there, and and I was doing something that I was really kind of, you know, musically wanted to do, and. Um, I guess, you know, <laughs> wow, as an artist, you just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to say that. This makes me sound like a total freaking tool. <laughs> Come on. I just don't know. Wow, well, you know, you just... Get it off your chest. You want to be... You know, you, you, once you kind of realise that that's what you're doing, oh, shit, I'm making music and possibly it could be construed as art, you kind of think, um, well, what am I trying to do with it? And then you spend a whole lot of time trying to make it something that is something that you can at least value personally that is cohesive and I guess that's what I tried to do with the second album even though I'm not sounding particularly cohesive right now yeah. um, <laughs> hey, well that's what happens when you're touring so. yeah man I'm completely road fried yeah. <laughs> shit <laughs> but yeah no second album 
It's okay. I mean, I'm just doing what I do, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not... Just having fun. Yeah. yeah. And trying to figure out the meaning of life. And this is, the you know, what I do in the meantime. Mm. This is my distraction. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the other thing I've noticed as well with, with the shows that you're playing, you're playing every size venue possible. Yeah. From a small venue to a big venue. Yeah. Id Gaff was amazing, considering there was like, oh, well, you can only probably fit 30 people in yeah. there. Yeah. It yeah. was such a great show. It was heaps of fun. Yeah. The show heaps <laughs> of energy. And, you know, I really like the small venues because of that kind of intimacy and the sharing of sweat, man, you know, it really brings people together. Um, and low lighting, yeah. <laughs> my favorite. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not young anymore. Um, but yeah, I just, I really dig those gigs. But then, you know, when you get a wicked big stage with, with PA and it's just cranking and everyone's having a great time, you can actually hear what you're singing. That's also, you know, they're just different vibes. Just yeah. Enjoy it, smash it, you know. Yeah. Just do it. Now, now at Idgaf, you were rocking the T-shirt, and you're and you're usually uh, you're usually the dress. I have the I've, dress on stage. You've been rocking a T-shirt I recently. Mean, I have been. I have. Um, I I like to frock up. Yeah. It's true, and you know, it's hard to it's hard to find the right frocks. You don't want to be too girly. Um, not never been a particularly girly girl, but do you know how to be a nice lady in a dress? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been rocking some rock and roll t-shirts lately. I've been going back to, you know, although I do really miss all my old Cure shirt collection. Yeah. I really wish I could wear them, but I think they've been polishing cars for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, after the last show, seeing you wear that t-shirt, mm. I went and dug through my collection. And I've got one for you. No way, get out! Hold on to the microphone. Oh no, get down. I put in my belt loop to hide it. Oh, get out! <laughs> this is, I'll show it to you first. Oh, I'll show it to the guys first. That's the Beatles, right? On the front. <laughs> See that yours there? Oh no, get down! So, what do you I reckon? I love that! No way, that's so cool. There we go. So uh, you'll the rock see roll. Jackie Marshall will be wearing that at I'll some point. I'll be wearing point. that at some point. There you go. And it's and it's washed too. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I just thought I'd throw that in there. You disappoint me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want you to get attached. No, that's true. You know, actually. if, no, if they if, would be like psychically connected. Yeah. And that would freak people out on just stage. Can't, just can't work like that. Not good, man. Not no, good. no. Wow, no. look at John. <clears throat> it's I mean, great. It's a great photo. Yeah. He looks very Amish. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> He's got a big hat, Woo! doesn't he? Sorry, people, you yeah, can't yeah, see this, yeah, can yeah, you? They're totally out of the conversation. So I just have a think about it, all right? Uh, so after the after show tonight, how, how many more have you got lined up before and where are you going from here? Oh, not before, rather, after. And how many have you got? Oh, okay. what are you doing after this? So this is sort of the last big show of this round of the tour, and then I'm going to do a couple of little um, cute, uh, couple of cute Victorian shows. Um, and then I'm actually going bush and I'm starting work on, on my book, mm-hmm. which has to be done. Um, yeah, I've decided. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I haven't been, no offense to anybody who's out there writing chick lit, but I personally, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I, I so I'm writing my own. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do you agree with that? Wow, that sounds terrible. But it's true, you know, I just want to have a crack. I want to write some chick. Lit. <laughs> That's really cool. Say that fast three times and see what sort of word you say. Yeah. I'm still uh, stuck uh, on that. I want to have a crack bit. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But then um, yeah, we've got some tours planned for later on in the year. We're going to tour uh, the Black Alice Band, which is the um, the band that features on Ladies Like the Album. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Then you head off into festival season and away she goes. Oh, yeah. It's going to get heavy at the end of the year, festival season. I'm Holy sh- crap. <clears throat> I'm sure yeah. we'll be having a few drinks at some point. I'm sure I'll be seeing you at some festival Excellent. sooner rather Excellent. later. Well, I'll tell you what, let's uh, let's let you go so you can go get ready for the show. Because you're warm up exercises. And uh, if you want to grab a copy of the album, I guess you can go to all good record stores. You can all also go to uh, yeah, myspace.com <laughs> forward slash Jackie Marshall and also JackieMarshall.com. Check out the tour dates, check out where Jackie's performing. If she decides to pop up and do a gig and channel or mind read you, then maybe you should go and have a look at it. Maybe she's already told you that you have gone or you're going. Maybe I'm already Maybe I'm just going too far with this. Uh, (laughs) All right, Jackie, let's get out of here. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us again. It's always lovely to see you. And um, 
good luck with the book. Thank you. Maybe next time we're chatting, we'll be chatting about the book rather than oh, who uh, knows. rather than the Might music. Might take a couple of years this one. Hey, hey. <laughs> a couple of years between first and second album. Woo! Take take a while with the book. It's fine. It's got time. Jackie Marshall here for Rock City Networks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>